hi and welcome to my channel so as you know i'm here to bring you the best opportunities in the uk the easiest pathways to move to the uk and most importantly how to progress in your career once you get to the uk because look i'm all about career progression side business opportunities work from home opportunities so in this video i'm going to be telling you about a new trend that is now within the carer industry because what's now happening is that people are coming to the uk with a legit you know visa and then they are finding out that there is actually no job for them the employer the person that has recruited them does not have any job whatsoever for them and then they're ending up stuck in the UK. So I'm going to be telling you what you should do in these circumstances. Because like I say, this is something that wasn't really the beginning of last year. It's the end of last year that this started happening. But now this 2023, it's happening even more. So if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, look, I appreciate your time. I really do hope that you're finding this information incredibly useful. You're able to implement it. It's able to impact your journey in the UK. And most importantly, that you're able to just find value and implement. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you do want to hit subscribe right now. Turn on the notification button so you're the first to be notified when I drop a new video on here. But most importantly, if you check the comment section below, you're going to see a link to my newsletter. If you join that newsletter, then I can send that information directly to your inbox. So you're never reliant on the YouTube algorithm, which is like a yo-yo basically. So that I can send that information directly to your inbox and you never miss out on any of that information so what is happening so people are coming to the uk with a legit uk visa and then they find out that that employer does not have any job for them so you get to the uk you've got your contract you've got a visa you've got your skilled worker visa and look they don't have any job for you very sad how do you pay your bills how do you pay your rent? How do you have food to eat? How do you survive in this country? That becomes a massive, massive challenge. And, you know, by the way, in case you're wondering who I am, my name is Melvis. I currently work for the NHS as an advanced nurse practitioner. I have a private career coaching service where I support nurses, carers, student nurses, you know, prospective student nurses with career progression in the UK. And that is why when I'm talking about these things that are happening, I'm saying that from a place of know-how from a place of experience because i support you know these carers in my private coaching program and so i like to highlight some of these challenges so that if you're not part of the program you're still able to know exactly what is going on within the industry so they can be on your guard you can be careful and can make sure that you're making the best decisions for yourself and you're not falling in some of these really terrible traps because you know if you want to check more about my private coaching program you know check the about section of this youtube channel you're going to see a link you know it's called nursing career bootcamp and you should join if you're not a member right now you should join because we'll make sure that we support you you know whether you're looking for those visa sponsorship jobs you're looking for career progression pathways in the uk you're an overseas nurse but you're working in the uk as a carer and you're trying to get your pin number you know to become a nurse or a midwife you're trying to you know just transition from a carer to other healthcare positions whether clinical non-clinical healthcare jobs you're a qualified nurse and you want that career progression you're thinking how do i become a nurse manager advanced nurse practitioner you know a specialist nurse nurse anesthetist a nurse lecturer you know i've got all those pathways to support you with interview preparation cv so that you can excel and thrive in the uk like i've said we check the about section of this youtube channel you're going to see a link to Nursing Career Bootcamp and obviously it will be a pleasure to have you so that I can support you personally, you know, with that process. You also have the support from other members, obviously, um, you know, to make sure that you get that push that you need in order to succeed. Because look, many of us know what we should be doing, but the thing is that this country can get so busy, things can get really entangled and then you all get, you know, just forget, just forget everything kind of thing. So we'll make sure that you know, you're on the loop and everything is going smoothly. So if you find yourself in this situation, in fact, most of the people that are finding themselves in this situation are people that have paid to move to the UK. Mm -hmm. Because what is happening right now is that there are those small care providers that have the license to bring overseas workers. What then happens is that because they are charging, you know, overseas candidates to get a ticket sponsorship, they are able to charge you, give you a legitimate sponsorship. You apply for the visa, you come here, but they don't have the contracts here in the UK to be able to give you a job, which means that they don't have a job, even though they've got a license to recruit overseas. So when you're paying money, you need to be very careful. It's not something that I ever advise anyway. Even my private coaching program is seven to nine pounds, but I still say to people, look, 
And what you're going to get is that guidance. Who is recruiting? How do you apply? How do you present yourself? That's what it's all about. But if you're going all out and you're looking for an agent because then you don't know who they're going to, you know, who you'll be getting a job with. Because the truth is that if you're paying somebody to move to the UK, they may not have a job for you when you actually get here. As in, they don't have a contract. You don't know that until you get here. Because like I say, more and more people are coming here and then finding out that they don't actually have a job to do. And so they end up stranded, which is such a shame, you know. Like I say, if you find yourself in this situation, you need to find another job ASAP. Don't worry about the fact that you are on a visa sponsorship. You can find jobs. Because look, I have gone through these processes myself. You know, my first three years in the UK working as a nurse, I moved jobs six times. I changed six different jobs. Mm -hmm. And I didn't worry about the visa sponsorship thing. Just apply for a new visa and move. Because that's the best thing for you. Because if they haven't got a job for you, what else do you want to do? And like I say, it's happening to more and more colleagues that are coming from home because they have you know paid an agent some money they don't know who the agent is getting you know what's going on and at the end of the day they get to the uk with a legit visa obviously but no job whatsoever because that particular person hasn't got enough contracts even though they have a legit license so please you need to watch out if that happens start looking for jobs don't despair you know don't sit at home crying all day but that's what people tend to do i know it's hard i know it's difficult but you need to seek help you need to get support speak to people you know just get to know people where you are and then you know apply for jobs online obviously because it is not easy in this country there are many challenges that we all face there are many situations that are going to happen there are many circumstances that are going you're going to sit there and think oh my goodness was it worth it was it not look moving to the uk is still the best thing that many of us have done for ourselves and it continues to be the best decision that many of us have made so you don't want to regret it all you want to do is carry yourself together keep looking for that job and you, you'll find it if you're watching this and you're also still looking for jobs you're still out of the uk or you're in the uk on another visa you're trying to switch again do not despair if you're part of nursing career would come again it's something that takes time you know it's something that needs a lot of patience because it takes time to, to get these jobs because if you're looking for a legit UK employer that is actually recruiting somebody and not charging, obviously, for that course, you know, recruiting normally, you're always going to be on the safe side when you get to the UK because nobody would be recruiting, you know, if they don't need the staff. And that is why applying for jobs yourself, making sure you're part of that journey, you're part of the process is so incredibly important because it saves you all the other challenges that arise from say agents or third parties you know like i was saying if you're part of my private coaching program you know you i'm simply giving you guidance on how to go about the process so i'm not promising you that oh you're going to join today and you get a visa tomorrow no it doesn't work like that you're part of the process all i'm doing is guiding you this is how you apply this is how your cv should look this is what you should do you know and it's just really that extra hand that support so that if you've got any questions you've got any queries there's always somebody there that can guide you with those answers so, you know, like I say, moving jobs is not something you should worry about. It doesn't matter what type of visa you, you have. It doesn't even matter what the conditions are because your mental health is way more important than any job at all that you're ever going to have. You know, you need to prioritize yourself, your health, you know, and do that by moving away from, say, toxic environments, moving away from an environment that is unhealthy for you so that you don't end up sick, you don't end up you know, stressed, you know, depressed, you know, with anxiety and all of that. Again, like I say, you know, I support fellow colleagues with this and it's been very disheartening for me seeing how many colleagues that are going through this, which is the need that I've found, obviously, do this video so that um, I can alert, you know, other people um, of this. So you need to be aware. I always say if you've got lots of money, because yeah, there are people, you know, that have got lots of money and want to move to the UK, Maybe consider moving through a student visa. If you're not a nurse, rather than coming as a carer, maybe apply for a nursing course. You know what I mean? Apply for a nursing course online. If you're not sure, if you get in contact with me, I can support you with that journey. I can support you with that process. So make sure that you get the best course for your personal circumstances so that, you know, instead of paying that money, for example, to come as a carer. You know what I mean? It's just, 
you know, because some of the money that people are paying is so ridiculous. It's like, how can you be paying 20,000 pounds to come to the UK as a carer? If you have that money, use it instead to come as, on a student visa. Because if you study a good course, say like nursing, instead of coming to, as a carer, if you are somebody who is not a qualified nurse, then, you know, come that way. If you're a qualified nurse already, just write your English test, you know, if, if even if you want to try apply for carer just because you're not able to you know to write for the english to write the english test fair enough because you're already qualified nurse but if you're not you know consider other options there are other options you know because i'm all about supporting you with that process so that um you can follow the best pathway the best career opportunities in the uk work from home side hustles because look this whole nine to five and work here and this is not easy long term it's very tough and so you do want to consider other options and that's what i'm here all about that's why i've put all these videos on here do watch them if you haven't subscribed to the channel you do want to hit subscribe right now turn on the notification button so you're the first to be notified when i drop a new video on here if you're enjoying this content also i want you to like the video it lets me know that you enjoy content like this and i should do more but most importantly if you join my newsletter then i can send that information directly to your inbox so you never miss out on any information are you going to implement this? What are your thoughts on this? Have you experienced it? Do you know anyone who's experienced this? Leave it in the comment section below. If it's something you've experienced or something that you want to discuss privately, you can use my newsletter, you know, and I'll be able to respond to you, obviously, privately. Um, otherwise, do feel free to use the comment section below to leave any comments that you may have, um, anything that you want to share so that we can look into that together and hopefully other people can also learn from that experience. Keep watching the videos. And I'll see you in the next video.